This is Brett Tatke. We are back here at Hosting Con, and we finally caught up with George Roberts, the founder of Hosting Con. First off, congratulations on an awesome conference. Thanks, uh, Brett. From one conference guy to another guy. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, all the comments have just been outstanding, outstanding sessions, outstanding exhibit hall. Uh, parties have even been good. Yeah, so. we've, we've heard a lot of positive comments, so we we're really happy that everybody's having a good time and doing a lot of good networking. Excellent. We're uh, kind of winding down here, actually. Uh, you got just a couple more hours to go, right? Yeah, we got the uh, got the final barbecue up on the rooftop here in a couple of hours, and everybody's going to sort of relax, kick back, relax, and do some final you know networking with, with people that they ran into at the show and hopefully uh, get some business done. A little bit different vibe from the last one I was to out in Vegas last year. Uh, seems like the industry is really starting to mature. I yeah, I, th I think so. You know, and, and I guess when we say mature, I, I don't mean like getting old. I mean um, more just getting to the point where it's it's getting more grown up. People are treating it, you know, more respectfully and more as a real business opportunity than, you know, just a bunch of startups. So I, I think it's I think it's really nice to see. Right. Uh, How's the conference been for you? What would have been the big surprises or the uh, unexpected? Uh, well, you know, our numbers were great this year. We, we had over 1,200 people here at the show this year. Um, you know, it's our third year doing the show, so we've been growing every year. We had 85 exhibitors this year. Um, you know, the, I think for us the, the nice thing was that um, everybody just seemed to really be having a really good time as far as, you know, enjoying themselves, but also the, the vibe as far as networking has been excellent. We had a, a networking event on Monday evening, and we had about 800 people in the, in the Lakeview Terrace here, and you walked in there, and it was just a buzz. I mean, the, it was a, a, you know, a hive of activity, and sometimes you go to some networking events, and you got people sort of standing around, and it's real quiet, and everybody's, you know, sipping their glass of wine, and, I mean, everybody was working the crowd, and, you know, and really having a good time, and, and really getting out there and meeting people. Yeah, you missed the good one last night on the boat, too. I yeah, I did, but I, I, I was at the Microsoft event, which was also, you know, equally good. Um, I Unfortunately, I had some work I had to do, and I couldn't be on the boat until 10 at night. I, uh, I had to get back and, and do some work before uh, the day started today. So I, I was originally scheduled to go on the boat, and I just kind of had to bail at the last minute. What's been the biggest change you've seen in the hosting industry in the last 12 months? Um, you know, I think, um, I think people are starting to realize that... Um, that it's not all about you know technical specifications and bandwidth and and how much disk space you're getting and you know the people out there there's a lot of people that need hosted services and sometimes that means that they're very technical people and they really do need to get into that you know you know sit down and figure out a really technical configuration but most people you know, are, are wanting an easy to use way to accomplish a specific task. I mean, you, you look at the YouTubes and the Flickers of the world, and most people wouldn't think of them as hosting companies, but they really are. They're hosted services companies. You know, Flickr is providing an online image sharing or image hosting service. You know, YouTube is doing the same thing with video. And I think a lot of people who are in the hosted services business are starting to realize that the, the market is extremely huge for those types of services where you are providing a place to host content you know whether that be blogs whether that be podcasts or whether that be you know pictures video anything like that but where you make it easy to use easy to produce easy to get the content out there and people don't care you know how how much bandwidth do i get per month or how much space all they want is to accomplish their goal and pay a certain price point to do it and the technical specs, if you have a good reputation, then they're going to trust that you're going to take care of that stuff for them. Um, where's your next conference at and when? We are back here at Navy Pier again next year, uh, July 28th through 30th. Um, so it's one week later. Um, but we're, back, we're committed back here to, to Navy Pier at least through next year. Um, we also already have our hotel set up for next year, so we're going to be back at the W again. Um, and the switch up from this year, we're going to move from the Sheridan over to the uh, Hotel Intercontinental. Excellent, excellent. Uh, any plans to do a tour or more shows? Uh, I don't think so, not at this point. Um, we are looking at Europe right now, um, so we're, con we're sort of in the very, very early stages of planning a European show. Um, but, you know, that's, it's a really different market, and we want to make sure that we understand that market before we go there, and we want to make sure that, you know, from our exhibitor and sponsor standpoint, that we understand you know, who, who is actually going to be able to join us over in Europe and, you know, who do we need to talk to in Europe to bring on as exhibitors and sponsors as well. So uh, we want to make sure that if we go over there that we don't fall on our face, you know, trying to do it. So Trust me, I've been there, done that. <laughs> well, again, congratulations and thank you for taking time for being with us, George. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.